Elvis is still alive. I just got word uh, from Marcus, who hangs out in the chat room frequently at live.perillo.com. And uh, he noted the other day, I was talking about pets and cats and dogs and birds and kind of making mention, I don't understand how one could keep a bird as a pet. Never really had a bird as a pet. Uh, I've known people who've had birds as, as pets. Uh, I'm more of a dog kind of person, even the even though Wicket tries my patience frequently. Uh, Wicket likes Linux. Uh, he's uh, decided that if he doesn't like something, he will either puke or pee on it. That's how we know. Um, so he hasn't done that on me yet. He's done it to my MacBook because, of course, it wasn't running Yellow Dog. Uh, I've got a top five list of uh, parrot tips submitted by Marcus. And uh, he's apparently a parrot and slash bird lover. Number one, although the parrot is yours, he is the boss. If you want him to do something and he does not want to do it, he will not do it. You cannot expect that he will do everything that you tell him to do. Two, this relates to the first point and is very important. Do not tell your parrot off. Show no negative behavior towards him ever. The end result will only be that he will be too scared to go anywhere near you. Encourage good behavior and ignore bad. Number three, don't think that even though you have a big cage, the parrot will be satisfied. I try to keep my parrot out of his cage for as much time as possible. At night, I put him into it for about 20 minutes so he can get some food, and then he sleeps on his perch in my room. Number four, do not leave him anywhere near anything that you do not want him to poop on or unattended, or specifically poop on unattended. Parrots excrete their bodily waste every 40 minutes, and if he likes to stay on doors and chairs, have a newspaper or two around. Well, I guess he shares a lot in common with my father, who not only... never mind. Number five, do not buy a parrot thinking it will be easy and not matter. They can live for as long as you, 60 years plus, and depending on when you buy it, the parrot, it will be with you for your whole life. It's like adopting a child, only it'll spend its whole life with you and not leave. Consider everything before you buy one. I didn't realize they'd live that long. I do wish that uh, Wicket and Pixie would live that long with us, but uh, sadly dogs are, are uh, not meant to live that long. It's really sad. Well, we'll enjoy it while we can, buddy. And after you're gone... Uh, Take heart in knowing we'll have to find another dog that won't be half as good as you. My email address is chris at perillo.com in case you got any other pet tips to pass along, especially for those uh, more exotic pets. Uh, please, no talk about those pet tarantulas. Uh, I'm an arachnophobe, and I will likely ban you from my inbox if you do that. I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious about that. You're welcome to stop by the chat room. We're typically talking tech, and so you may say, well, Chris, why are you talking about pets and dogs and birds and food? Because, well, I'm human. I'm human, and then I'm a geek. I'm not a geek, and then I'm human. Come on. If you prick me, do I not ooze some kind of compound that may or may not be red or green if I happen to be Vulcan? Well, we're streaming this video live with the chat room 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, regardless, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later. It's not a treat. I was just doing the... It's no, there's nothing there. <laughs>